This is Roger Schultz, and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In this Tech Talk, we will show you how to properly configure the Trimble R2 for NMEA output. So you might be asking, what is NMEA? NMEA is a generic text string language that will communicate the locational information that your R2 receiver is collecting. If you are looking for more information about what NMEA is, how it works, and what each sentence means, check out this link. The link will also be provided in the blog post below. Why would I want to configure my R2 to output NMEA? Well, there are many situations where outputting NMEA would be useful or even necessary. Applications generally involve some form of external sensor, such as a sonar mite, GPR, or even a pipe cable locator. For whatever your application, setting up the R2 will always follow these basic steps for NMEA output. So we will follow a few basic steps and utilize the web user interface to configure the R2. We will then Bluetooth the R2 to the computer and use HyperTerminal to confirm our settings. Connecting to the web user interface or web UI is quick and easy. First you will need to go to your wireless networks connection, find the web network of the R2. When connected, the R2 will display as a limited connection. Next you will need to go to the web UI address on your web browser 192.168.142.1 and the web user interface will appear. Next you need to enter in the username and password. The username is admin and the password is password all lowercase. You have now accessed the web user interface. Now that we are in the web UI, let's take a look at the I.O. configuration tab on the left. This tab will show us the main ways that the R2 is capable of streaming out data. In order to configure the NMEA out via Bluetooth, we need to click on the Bluetooth port 1. There are many different sentences that we can stream via NMEA. Make sure that you know what NMEA string your application requires and configure the R2 accordingly. For this demonstration, we will simply stream GGA, which is the most generic NMEA string. Once applied, I can now see on the I.O. configuration page that we are streaming on Bluetooth port 1 NMEA GGA at 1 Hz. To access the web UI, we used the Wi-Fi connection. We cannot stream NMEA via Wi-Fi, so I will have to pair the R2 via Bluetooth and connect as follows. I am using a Windows 10 computer, so I will have to click on my Bluetooth and add a new Bluetooth device. I will see the R2 and its serial number appear and pair to the unit. If I click on more options, I can see what Bluetooth COM port is being used by my computer. These COM ports are randomized every time, so it is important to check which one you are set to and make sure that you are streaming it correctly. I use the internal COM port 1 on the Bluetooth port on the R2, which I can see is being used by my computer's COM30 port. This is important when hooking up to HyperTerminal to make sure that we are set to the correct computer's COM port, in this case COM30. Next, we need to open HyperTerminal. To download HyperTerminal, you can follow the link in the blog post below. Once I have launched HyperTerminal, I simply need to name my connection, which I will name R2 NMEA GGA, and hit OK. Now I need to make sure that I connect using the proper COM port, in this case, COM30, and then check my port settings, 24, 8, none, and 1, and hit OK. HyperTerminal is showing me that I have successfully configured my R2 correctly and GGA is streaming in normally. This will conclude our tech talk on how to configure the R2 to stream NMEA with a GGA sentence string. We hope you have found this video useful and helpful and will join us again next time. Thank you.